Now, the Bible tells us that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Julie, I, I want to invite you to, to come up at, at this time. I, I want to just take a, a moment to share because God's been moving in some dynamic, dynamic ways. There's been incredible uh, flowings of, of healing that, that have gone forth. And Next week at Elevation, we're going to be sharing a number. We're going to welcome many of you to share. But you know, Julie is going to be heading over to England, so she won't be with us during this time. So I just welcomed her this morning. I wanted to share what the Lord has, uh, has done in her life and the, the mighty move of God. I have had terrible migraine headaches for about 15 years maybe a bit more but I won't say how for a long time and they've, they've been really bad like I got to sit in the dark <laughs> sunglasses my kids think I'm crazy sunglasses in the basement no light um, I can't see properly when they come and they take like three days to go away and I've been having these for like 15 years more, more than 15 years and I've gone to the place where, I mean, I've been prayed for. I'd called the 700 Club to pray for me. My, my family prayed for me. Everybody prayed for me. And I got to the place where I just thought, they're not going to go. And I got some medication that, you know, gets rid of them within a day instead of three days. So, you know, I was happy to just live on that. And um, last, when it was uh, elevation, last elevation service, I came because, well, I, did, I, I come anyway, but I was really encouraged by <laughs> I was really encouraged by um, Pastor Sean's dad had um, shared his testimony about his arm and, and I at the time was having thyroid problems since August. Um, my thyroid is overactive and it was just going nuts and the doctors were talking about taking it out and all sorts of crazy things and I was reminding God that my children are four and six and I can't have any surgery go wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I came to pray about that. Um, and Mama G came to the front in the middle of the service and she was just speaking a little while and then, then I heard her say there is someone with terrible migraine headaches. Well, I forgot my thyroid. I was here so fast. <laughs> I was here so fast. And um, even, even though I wasn't really full of faith because I've had so many prayers for them, but I, I just thought, God, if you're calling, even if I don't believe, please just do something anyway. Mm. And um, so I was prayed for and then just before I left, somebody else, I don't know who it was, I don't know if she's from this church, but somebody else came to speak to me. She said, well, I was being prayed for, the Lord spoke to her and said that I mustn't fear, he's going to take care of it. So so I went home and I was telling all my family, yes, I've been healed from migraines, but I don't get migraines every day. <laughs> so it's not like I woke up the next day and thought, no, migraine, I'm healed. I, I don't get them every day. So then I thought, I was praising God and I thought, well, I need to do something that I know would cause a migraine. And I was scared. <laughs> I, was, I was scared. Um, and now they're hypo, hypoglycemic migraines. So if I don't eat, if I miss a meal, or if I, I'll have a migraine, or if I do a lot of exercise and don't eat, I'll have a migraine. So um, I went to bed and I, I didn't quite miss a meal, but I had a very tiny meal and I was very scared. I woke up every 15 minutes checking my head <laughs> and I was saying, Lord Jesus, please help my unbelief. I'm just so scared. And the next morning I had no migraine. And I thought that's great. And I, you know, as the days went by, I just, I just kept testing God. I kept doing things to cause a migraine and I couldn't get a migraine. And I was just, I'm just praising God for it. And, and, and the great, the well, that, that was the great news, but the other great news was that was on Sunday, and then on Friday, my doctor called me and said that my thyroid was no longer hyperactive. <laughs> now, it's, it's been three weeks since the last elevation service. No migraines. Bless God. Let's give God the glory and honor and praise. Come on, He's awesome.
holy, he's holy, he's holy, he's holy, he's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. 